Tutorial Robot. So today we're going to be creating uh, a second user in Mac OS X. Um, this is a user account that's on your computer that's going to be different from your own user account. There's a bunch of different reasons why you might want to be doing this. Uh, maybe you're sharing the computer with a family member. Maybe there's some other kind of scenario, but the good news is it's really, really easy to go ahead and create a new user account in Mac OS X. First thing we need to do is let's open up System Preferences. Now you can find System Preferences in the dock frequently, or you can also find it under the Apple menu. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so once we're in System Preferences, we need to go to Users and Groups. This is sort of in the lower uh, left-hand corner. All right, so if you're like me, you've probably only got one user on your computer right now. Um, we need to go ahead and create a second user. So the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and unlock this lock at the bottom here. You're going to be prompted for your administrator password. Go ahead and hit unlock. All right, uh, now we are free to hit the little plus button near that uh, lock. Let's go ahead and add a new user account. I'm going to call this uh, tutorial robot and it comes up with the account name automatically. This is the name that will be used um, by the computer sort of automatically um, in, in some places. And then password, one thing that's kind of fun is you can actually have it uh, come up with a password for you. If you open up the password assistant next to it and you can choose a couple different parameters. Uh, memorable is, is really probably the easiest for most people to use. Um, and you can choose the length and it'll just come up with uh, different passwords for you. Uh, I happen to know what password I want to use for this account. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. You'll be prompted to verify it. Make sure you haven't mistyped it. And if you'd like, you can do a password hint uh, to help you remember what the password is. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and create user. Okay. So it's asking me if I want to keep automatic login turned on. What that means is when you turn on your computer, or for that matter, when you restart your computer, you're going to be automatically logged into a user. Now, this is the way that most people have their computers set up by default, but the operating system is smart enough to say, well, wait a second, you've got two different users now. Do you want to get a login screen when you turn on that computer or when you uh, perhaps restart that computer? In my case, I'd like to say, let's go ahead and keep automatic login um, because I know that most of the time I'm going to be using my other user account. Okay, so now I've got uh, this new user here, um, Tutorial Robot, and I can go ahead and choose a different, um, I can even take an image from the camera uh, right now of myself. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I think I'll just give myself a fortune cookie for the moment. Um, and I could change my name here if I wanted to. Um, one thing that's kind of important is you can allow the user to administer this computer. Um, this means that they will have privileges to install programs uh, on their own account um, or even install them system-wide. So that's kind of something you want to think about whether or not you want to allow them to do that. And the other option here is to enable parental controls. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. All we need to do now under the Apple icon, we can choose log out of uh, the account that we're in right now, and then we'll be able to log in as the new user. Now, if I did that, it would stop the screen recording. Uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now, but that's how you do it. Thank you for watching.